Hello, hello, beautiful beings. It's Linda here from the Sahara Zen channel. And today we're talking about your visions and your goals and 2022 and the fact that it's February. And I just wondered how you felt about it still. Did you start January with really big goals and then let them slide? I've just popped in here today to remind you that the only way your goals are going to really come about is if you care about them. And I don't even want to call them goals. Mine are like a family of things that I want to grow. It's like I have a little, little tiny, tiny seedling, if you like. I don't know how many analogies we can get to. <laughs> we can try for more. But, you know, it, it starts with an idea. And I think that's where you think when you've written it out that you've done it or life takes you over. So let's go back. Did you, in January, think about what you would like to do maybe for the next month or three months or six months or a year? Did you? And did you go so far as to pop that feeling onto a board I did I popped my way of generating a loving seedling goal is to create an icon of it one that encapsulates all of my feelings like my home one for my home it talks about being warm and open and friendly now yes I want a bigger home I want for us to be able to have space my gorgeous man is six foot five. He needs space. So we'll either expand this one or get a new one. So I didn't want to like make a rule about what was going to happen. What I wanted to do was to create the availability of choices. So that's what mine says. And the icon is very personal to me. And my icon for my offering, for my service, for my work is about enabling and facilitating and opening people's hearts up to the next, which is what I've learned to do. So you can see, if you started off by going, oh, I want blah, 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 and then you just shoved it on a board maybe even, or into a journal and didn't do anything about it, well, it's just going to sit there stewing and getting moldy. <laughs> so I'm, that's why I'm here today. I came here to say, what do you care about? What do you care about in the service that you offer, in your job, in how you do the thing that you do? What do you care about? How does that grow? What does that become when it grows? What does it become? And what about giving? What about philanthropy? What do you see? Do you see a group of people being assisted by you? Do you see generating the beginnings of a charity organization where you can assist a group of people instead of like sitting on the sideline wishing do you see what you can do with abundance what does your abundance thought look like when I got to mind this year I I thought you know I feel like it needs to be synchronized with everything else that I do and I feel like it needs to be flowing. So I hopped on that wonderful Canva machine and I, and I just looked up a few pictures that were about synchronized flow and created something. And the thing I want around all of my prosperity is compassionate prosperity. That is prosperity that is heartfelt, heart given and impactful and loving whilst lifting me up abundantly. It's quite a wide scope of feeling, but I always feel like I, I don't see the prosperity for just me. I see it in how I can um, like spend it, if you like, straight up, what kind of things I buy, how I'm not a buying person, if you hadn't got that by now. <laughs> but there are things that I want to do, and sometimes I choose not to do them because right now they're not in the budget that we have around us. So... In growing these thoughts and feeling towards them, what does your family feel like? Like you might not have what you want in your family, but what does it feel like? What does it feel like? How does it be 
to have your friends. What I wrote for my friends this year was to be, (laughs) B-E-E, be the friend I wish to see. It was a little poem and it sits with me. Do you get that? And my central core of everything that I put together is that the universe works its magic through me. I came here with a song to sing and that's what I do. So I, I do incorporate the universe into my wishes and my wants. I'm inserting a promotional moment here only because I've had quite a few people ask me what it is that I do. And along the way, I've gathered so many skills and processes that have been gifted to me by the universe and that I've Englished. And so when I work with someone, what do I do? Okay, so the first thing I do is chat because through our conversation, the person I'm working with, whether that be you or someone else, their team, their higher spiritual source aligns with mine and I receive information, not private information, but helpful information about moving forward. And from there, we can then feel into what process or what system works for you the best out of all of the things that I know how to do. And my most favorite mixture of helpful, enabling and facilitating processes is using the the heart codes, the Anahata codes, and also the process I call rewrite the script. That's all packaged up in a package that costs $175. And that covers anything we do, whether it's um, one and a half to two hours and all of the processes needed in that time to get us to where we need. The conversation usually allows us an insight into where in your time script we should go. And we duck and dive all over the place. I have um, alleviated stress forward and back. And because I don't see time as a... um, a structure that we need to work in, then we go across timelines. And it's really, really useful, really empowering. And yes, you come out of it knowing that you have cleared the way so that you can see your shine. And we set these intentions to clear and activate together because I am in touch with your source and your source is talking through me to you. It's a gentle process. Everything that I do is a gentle process. Nothing needs to be hardline or have you crying or doing anything excessive. Okay, so that's enough about what I do. Well, a little bit more. Apart from what you see here in YouTube, I have a website and what I'm going to do is put the link for Rewrite the Script below. It's on the screen now and it's also below. So yeah, go and find it and read some more about it and send me a message if you need to know more about it. I understand that you need to trust somebody that you're bringing into your world and that's what my team have asked me to do today, just to let you know. Okay, gorgeous being, promo time done. See you. So what things are important to you? Like when somebody pops up a like a goal board or a vision board setting for a year, they put up things that you might not be ready to front. They put up things that, that you haven't got a warm feeling about that might look like a struggle. Well, I say to you, don't do anything about them. If all you can do maybe is write love, insert love into that section. I've got sections that aren't filled because this year they didn't call to me. The things that called to me were friendship, um, love, my health and well-being, the way I earn money and what I do with it, and my career, how I help people in my career. And in my giving and philanthropic area, I actually talk about conscious prosperity, just happily being gifting. It's something in my heart, just being able to Not stupidly, please, (laughs) but being in a place where you can make a difference. That's how I look at it. So what this was about was a prod, a little push to say, 
have a look at what means something to you and not for a year. If it doesn't show up for a year, don't see it, but make some little icons, make some little icons about, I don't know, mine look about this big and they fit on my goal setting board, on my vision board, whatever you want to call it. And in the middle, I have the universe works its magic through me. And around it, I have the things that are important to me. And what I do with those things is I actually swivel my chair around. I look at the vision board and I breathe into every single one of them with feeling and with love. I breathe my magic into them. However you want to do it, you might want to like, Formally, formally meditate in front of it it's up to you it's just for me seeing it like when I say be the friend I wish to see I immediately know a friend that comes to mind I breathe my friendship into that feeling and I might even text them after that and with prosperity the flow it's easy to imagine synchronized flow once you've got a picture and once you've established that feeling I love you, my gorgeous being. I appreciate you in my world and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.